I'm Logan McKenzie, uh, owner of Tri-Valley Construction in Princeton, BC, and third generation logger. Uh, my grandpa owned it, my father owned it, and now myself. Tri-Valley's been logging since the early 60s. We have 18 employees and 23 pieces of CAD equipment. I've operated the next gen for about 850 hours. Uh, overall performance of the next gen, it has definitely more track power and it's uh, faster at traveling. The swing has increased as well as the controls, they're a lot easier to use. It's easier on your body after a 10 or 12 hour shift. I actually look forward to coming to work to get in that machine. Caterpillar has gone above and beyond my expectations with this next gen 538. From the stance and the stability of the machine, to horsepower, to hydraulics, the cab, the visibility, the overall functionality of, of the machine in general. Being an ex-operator, one of my most exciting parts of this next gen is the cab. Nice big door that swings open. You get inside the ergonomics of the cab, the, uh, the way the seat is situated with the handles. From a visibility standpoint, Caterpillar's moved the frame back on the right-hand side. Um, so now you look out the right, there's nothing blocking your view. That's a game changer and a showstopper from an operator standpoint. I really like the controls on it now that they're all integrated on the touch screen. Very nice to have them there instead of off your right side. You can see past the boom that way, lots of visibility. You're in there for 10 to 12 hours a day. It's not cramped like the old ones. These machines are their second home, so they, you want them to be comfortable. So one thing you're gonna notice right off the bat with the 538 is they've added a link to the undercarriage to the track rails and that's created three inches more track length. It's gonna uh, make this next gen um, that much more stable. They've also increased the clearance underneath the car body by four inches. You're, you're above everything that, that you're gonna to need to be above to have a stable working platform. I just love the performance on this machine. The swing power increase as well as the track power increase and speed. Piece count has gone up. The old machine would be about 100 pieces an hour, a little more, and this one you can do a fair bit more than that. With the increased fuel capacity, I don't have to fuel up every day. I could go two or three days if, if need be. Uh, the fuel consumption is a big part of our daily operation. The less fuel we're burning, the more production we're getting, just more money on our bottom line. The hydraulics on this one, they warm up with the warm up feature and it saves you time because you don't have to warm up the machine and the hydraulics. It has been down to minus 20 for a few days and we haven't had an issue with it. This is one of the machines that comes out of the box and it's ready to go. It's ready to go to the bush. You do not need to add lights. You do not need to add any extra guarding to it. It's all there. Right out of the gates, this thing's going to the woods and, it, and it's going to process wood and make you money. From the door to starting it to running it, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all good. Well, if you're lucky enough to get into one, you're going to feel a different way about going to work. This next gen is above and beyond my expectations of what they've done. The 538 has always been a great platform, but this one is, has hit it out of the park. I can't wait to get a fleet of them. <laughs>